There are no highlights because there was no race yesterday. Substituting this week's top five, we were going to do top five outfits for Danielle and myself, <laughs> but I got the sea foam, she's got the red, so we're going to go in a different place. Uh, I don't have five that would, that would make the list, <laughs> but we do have a top five upset list That's for right. 2013. And good stuff. Number five, Pinsky Racing Sensation Ryan Blaney, who scored an upset win in the Nationwide Series in Kentucky in September. The 2013 Camping World Truck Series Rookie of the Year led a race high 96 laps and he took the checkered flag in only his 15th series start. That is an upset. It sure is, Adam. Got another for you. Number four, Chase Elliott, Ty Dillon. Door to door at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park back in September. That's Chase putting Ty Dillon into the old wall. Chase Elliott comes around the final corner and takes the checkered flag in his sixth career Camping World Truck Series start. Congratulations to him. Number three, we stick with a truck. Eric Jones making history. Upset win at Phoenix. 17 years old and becoming the youngest winner in NASCAR's top three national touring series. He was driving for Kyle Busch in that 51 machine. Got the victory in his fifth truck start. That's big time. That was. But we have two that are uh, a little bit better. Brian Vickers made the most of his part-time schedule in the 55 car with Michael Waltrip racing. Shocking, the Sprint Cup Series regulars at Loudoun in July. Vickers' third career cup win was the first since being sidelined with blood clots in 2010. The win also helped Vickers secure a full-time ride in the 55 in 2014. Number one, absolutely a no-brainer. Talladega in May. Yet Carl Edwards, Matt Kenseth, Jimmy Johnson, and many other big-time drivers at the front. Green-white checker finish. But my friends, we have got the true Cinderella story. Front Row Motorsports, David Gilwin pushing teammate David Reagan to the checkered flag. Shocking the racing world. In fact, David Reagan said after the race, this is a true David versus Goliath moment, his second career victory.